And that was a disgraceful performance, in my opinion. We threw that game. We gave it away by doing that. We gave them the friggin' game. In my opinion, that sucked. And in my opinion, that completely sucked. The San Francisco Giants fall in a close game on the road, but that's not the issue. The issue is 0 for 10 with runners in scoring position. So that video that you just watched is fitting because the Giants did give this game away. Had every opportunity to score some runs and help out Win, who's now 0 and 3 but deserved so much more, pitched well. Roop came in and was lights out for two innings. Ryan Walker even came in and strikes out the side. The Giants do them no favors offensively, cannot score more than one single run and go 0 for 10 with just one extra base hit in this ball game. So a very disappointing one today, um, but let's find out what's going on in the chat. Because that was rough. Uh, well, it's almost a win. We should have and could have won the game. What happened to the offense? The offense has been off every single year. We really, I mean, I talked about it last year. Why can't, I don't understand. I don't expect a hit every time with a runner in scoring position. That's not even realistic. I don't even expect you to hit 300 with runners in scoring position. But it's like, with runners in scoring position, the team just can't hit. It just can't hit. We turn it to pitchers up there. Oh, for 10. And what about on the season? Can we look it up? I'm curious if I can look up the, that number as a team. And I'm going to try to look that up. But it's got to be bad. It was bad last year. Tough, frustrating loss, busting out the class azul for this loss. You don't need to get a hit every time. If we went two for 10 today, that would have been two runs. The Giants could have won this game three to two. How can we not get a runner on third with one out and not score him? How? Holy mo Moses. Send Yaz to AAA. Give Fitzy a try. Stinks. What's going on, man? Hey, Rick Kane is here. Rick Kane. Well, other than this game, we'll see how the evening goes. I'm going to get some work done here in a minute and uh, get some working on some videos and things like that. And then I'll uh, hit the hay. And uh, other than this game, uh, hopefully it's a, a, a good evening. Jason Corona with the 999 to continue the streak. Still haven't had a post game without at least one super chat, which is a record. The previous record was one game. So thank you so much. Nine ninety nine for the cafecita. Tough loss. Oh well, at least we have home baby baseball. Who's playing tomorrow? Uh, we'll be. Uh, it'll be game two against the Rays. But if you're asking who's pitching, I'll, I'll look it up and see if that has been announced yet. I wasn't looking too deep. I was looking one game deep, and uh, unfortunately, uh, benches did clear in uh, in. Uh, Baltimore. Mitch is cleared in Baltimore. Um, not sure what's going on right there. Brewers may be mad because the uh, um, the Orioles have so many young prospects coming up and they just finally lost it. I'm not exactly sure, but looks like there's a, a bench clearing. I don't know if you'd call it a brawl, but benches have definitely cleared in Baltimore. So we'll find out what's going on there, I wonder. Um, but yeah, tomorrow's game. Let's see if we can find that information. It's a day game, 4-10. Eastern time, so 410 over in uh, St. Pete, 110 over in San Francisco. And it looks like it's going to be the former Dodger prospect, Ryan Pepio, taking on Logan Webb. So we got the ace going tomorrow against Pepio, but we will talk about today's game a little more, but um, already ready to move on. So, uh, yeah, win pitch today, pitch pretty well. Year after year, cons cons constant, terrible lineups. After the one year, I actually put faith in this squad. I'm absolutely disgusted. Never, ever, ever, ever again going to put my, my faith in this team.
that's, that's I'm reading. It. I'm not saying that. I'm reading it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I feel exactly what you're saying. And um, it's just been a, a bad, bad season offensively. We had a couple of opportunities. We had our, our guy up there when we wanted him. And um, I'm talking about, uh, if I can bring up this, the box score here. Um, we had Soler up in a key moment. Uh, Soler did rip a double. Was it a double or a single? He hit a base hit down the line. I thought it, maybe it was just a single. Okay, Estrada has the only double. Had the only double of the game. So one extra base hit today. Um, and uh, Jung Huli did have a hit. Uh, what all game six long six hits all game long. None with runners in scoring position. Um, just like last year, I keep talking about it. Set the table, but you can't clear the table. You can set the table, but they can't clear the table. I mean, what is up with that? Even the Rays did much better than that, and, and it doesn't take much. One for seven. That's all it took. One measly hit with runners in scoring position. You got to do it. You got to come through eventually. Absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. There's no other way to put it. I keep on trying to look up these stats. Every time I look it up, and then I go back to the tab. I'm not where I want to be. Uh, I'm trying to find out some Giants numbers. I know it's early. But hey, hey, Malone Lay ain't trying to hear that. I don't know if he's here right now. Nobody's trying to hear all that. I mean, let's freaking go. Okay. Um, I don't know how to find it, but I, 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 let's look at the standard stats right now, and we can see if we click on just just general batting average. Atlanta Braves are killing it. Dodgers are at the top, not surprisingly. Got the Rangers, the D-backs, the usual suspects, the really good teams with these really nice batting averages. I know average ain't everything. Giants are down here at 18. This is just, just overall batting average, not runners in scoring position. I'm willing to bet that we're much lower, much worse with runners in scoring position. Um, here we go. Scoring position. Can, can we check this out? Scoring position. Here we are. Scoring position. Look at the Brewers. 373 with runners in scoring position for the Milwaukee Brewers. Um, I lost my place. Holy Moses. Where, where the heck? I lost my place. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. Uh, where? I don't even know. I don't know why every time I click, I can't find the tab I was just in. That is so weird, man. Now I'm screwing up. Everyone's just screwing up. Once, once it falls apart, it just falls apart. Well, the only thing I can say is at least last season, we fell apart at the end. Maybe it's a rough start and maybe, maybe we'll have a better kind of get hot towards the all-star break, have a better second half. But so far, it has been extremely disappointing. I, I, I found the tab. Okay, so Giants, we are 25th, 219. And this might be before today's game. So that might be 219. Worst in the National Freaking League with runners in scoring position. Worst in the National League. Only the Angels A's. I don't know what's going on with the Blue Jays. White Sox and Twins are worse. Holy cow. What's up, Morgan Farmer? Welcome to the farm. Uh, Giants stole a lot of bases. They, they were running. We were trying. Uh, by the way, I can tell you're pissed at the San Francisco Giants this year. Rick Kane, you said it. I respect your opinion on the Dodgers, by the way. Oh, thank you so much. They don't have brawls in baseball. We lost. What's the score? The score today, the final score is 2-1. to one. Uh, This team is not a playoff team, not as stands. I don't mind the Giants. Melvin came out and argued. Did he get tossed? Did I, did I overlook that? I know he came out and argued that call when there was a slide into third base and Chapman tagged the runner out, but they said that Chapman basically blocked the runner from sliding in, which kind of looked like it on the replay. But um, did Melvin get ejected? Yeah, he came out to argue. And I didn't see him get ejected. Maybe he got ejected later. I might have been away from the from the game for a second. I I, I didn't watch every single second. I had to walk uh, away for a minute. Missed a missed a couple of at bats here and there, but I, I I didn't see that. We had some good signings this year, but it takes 
time for them to gel as a team. You can't get 25 strangers together and make them a championship team in a few weeks. Be real, people. Jason Corona, keeping it real. Keeping it real. Trying to bring us back to earth. Um, I don't expect a championship team, but I think being last place and hitting with runners in scoring position ain't going to fly. Ain't going to fly. We're going to have to improve. Uh, I don't expect a winning record already. I mean, it would be nice. I would like one. I don't expect already to have this, you know, great record, but the record already is pretty poor. Five and nine. If the Giants lose tomorrow, we go to five and ten. Right now, the winning percentage. What is the winning percentage? See if I can uh, find some updated standings here. But yeah, I was able to figure out how to operate this website and find those advanced stats, and that is really interesting. Giants are worst in the in the. I mean, it's not just. I'm surprised it's 219. It feels worse than that. Just a really poor with runners in scoring position. Um, OPS, which is pretty much all around hitting, walk, power, just all around. Giants are 28th in baseball with runners in scoring position. Only the White Sox and Twins are worse. Angels are better OPS. Blue Jays have a better OPS. A's have a better OPS. I mean, we're down in last place. The Marlins are higher. The Cardinals are higher. The Nationals are higher. I I, I, I don't, uh, Dodgers haven't exactly raked with uh, runs in scoring position, but uh, at least OPS wise, but absolutely crazy. So let's check out the uh, standings. I'm curious what, what, where we're at right now. Melvin got himself a ticket trying to light a fire under the team. And he didn't light it. The Queens suck to Eric. Dub Nation. Uh, I would definitely try Fitzgerald at this point. If he's not in the lineup tomorrow and we lose, management should know what needs to be done. Randy! Randy sent a 50 spot the other day, and he's back with the 499. Randy Runolfson. Thank you so very much. For that, they call Soler out on an obvious ball. I saw that Soler was pissed, um, and he got oh, he was yelling from the dugout and got ejected. Well, hey, you know, good on Melvin. Let the umpires know. You know, you guys are supposed to be the best of the best. Big league umpires, get it together. That was a ball. I love Yaz. I want him to be good, but that look at that previous game. You all saw that management um, could very well be uh, today. How many times did he strike out? Uh, Oh, he didn't strike out today. He walked, and yeah, so he's hitting 125. He did have a couple hits the other day. Everyone's fighting for him. Everyone's rooting for him. But um, we may need to take a look at some of the stats down in AAA here early on this season. But the Giants right now are in – how we're not in last place is a freaking Christmas miracle because the Rockies absolutely stink. That's the only reason. 357 winning percentage the Giants have right now. 357. To put that in perspective, last year, the closest team to that was the Rockies who had a better winning percentage last year at 364, and they lost 103 games. Now, I'm no mathematician, but that tells me the Giants are on a pace to lose over 104 games. That's that's the record right now. So we, I'm not asking for much. I'm not asking for the Giants to come out on fire. But right now, the Giants are on a pace to lose 104, 105 games. That's where we're at for, for some quick mathematics. I keep seeing... Everyday miracles when they play Matos and Fitzy. Michael, great question. Who, what the f is going on with Chapman? Yeah, he had a he's had at least a couple of good hits this year with runners in scoring position. Um, thank you again, Jason Corona and Randy. Randy, yeah, we cannot stay on this pace. Giants are on a pace to lose 105 games. I mean, that's that's just the absolute truth right now. We're still early. Thank God. Because if we weren't early, um, this would be a failed season, worse than any season in recent memory. When's the last time the Giants lost 100 games? The 
guys, the last time the Giants lost 100 games, I'm not, I'm not, it's way early to talk about this. I get that. But I'm just saying it, it's been since 1985, 62 and 100. So that can't happen. That won't happen. But that's how they're playing right now. They're playing 100 lost baseball. We're playing 100, sorry, headphone alert, 100 lost baseball right now. Absolutely. And I thought the Giants were going to win today. Uh, it was a close game. I was like, ah, we'll, we'll, we'll break through here in a minute. And they had their chances to do so. And for the, uh, another game, the Giants get a, a rally going late and leave a runner on 90 feet away from tying. And, and then if you go back uh, the other day, the Giants had the bases loaded with no outs in the ninth and didn't score a single freaking run. Kratos wants taps. It's way too early for taps. Even if the Giants had lost every game so far, I believe it or not, I still wouldn't play taps just yet. Um, because it's 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 April for April 12th. April 12th. They can fix it. They can fix it. A big question mark is gonna be Snell, who had a tough start. Is Snell gonna have a rough year? Because Snell ain't a guarantee to have a Cy Young year every year. He's had two. Snell has been average at times, and he's been great at times. So ain't no guarantees. So we need to see what Snell can do. We need to see how Logan Webb's going to do, who had a really rough spring and has not. He's been okay. He's been okay this year, I want to say. I mean, what's his ERA? I'm pretty sure it's over four or maybe even over five here in this young season. I could be wrong on that. Uh, let me let me, let me me check. Um, that's, yeah, I was right around there, 4.86. In three starts, he's 0-1. We haven't got it. We haven't got a, uh, we haven't got Logan Webb a win yet. 16 innings pitch. He's given up 22 hits. He's given up uh nine runs. He has walked only four. Uh I think he'll be fine, but it hasn't been the greatest start. Obviously, Snell didn't look great. Jordan Hicks has looked great. And Kyle Harrison, I think, has looked very good. So right now. Kyle Harrison and Jordan Hicks are 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 got to pick up the wins, and we need a strong start tomorrow from Logan Webb. It is vital. Uh, and Ryan Pepio ain't no easy uh, easy uh, guy either. Ryan Pepio has stuff. That's a former Dodgers prospect who they traded for Glass now. So obviously the Dodgers preferred him over uh, preferred Glass now over Pepio. But don't think that Pepio is uh is just gonna you know we're just gonna. Uh, light him up tomorrow. I hope so, but it's gonna. It's it's he's he's got stuff, and the Giants' offense right now is not clicking. It's not clicking, and I'm getting angry. I'm getting angry, and you all don't want to see the Hum Baby Baseball Channel get angry. So that's the situation right now. All I can say is, until these dudes start hitting, we are in deep crap because the Giants. All they had to do was score two freaking runs to, and we could still be playing and at least have a chance in extra innings. We couldn't score two runs, and it's not like the Rays pitching was unhittable today. Look at how many pitchers they used. One, two, three, four, five, six different pitchers, and the Giants got hits and base runners all night long, four hits off the starter. Then Clevenger came in, another hit. Uh, okay, uh, then we got a hit off uh, Poche here. We got a hit, uh, we got a bunch of walks, six walks. Giants had base runners all night long, all night long. And we couldn't score but one single freaking run. But let's go ahead and recap this game real quick. And this is going to be the shortest recap of the season so far because there was only three runs total in this game. And um, they came in the early innings. Tampa Bay got things started with Yandy Diaz, one of the best, one of the most underrated players in the entire game. Um, check out my upcoming video, the most underrated players in baseball. He's on the list. And um, he walked... Uh, and that scored a run, one nothing at that point. A wild pitch brought in a, a run for the Giants, and that tied the game at one. But then in the bottom of the third inning, Ahmed Rosario hit a double to take the lead, and um, there was an interference error there by Matt Chapman on that play. 
And that was it, two to one. And that's how the game ended. After that, a bunch of zeros. So uh, we have Tommy Hugsley maybe should have bunted Ahmed. I, I, yeah, we need to play more small ball. We need to do some. I mean, at this point, I got a runner third. You know what I'm doing? I'm doing a squeeze play, a suicide squeeze. Run home and bunt because you do. You guys can't hit. And I don't know if they do, you know, like in college when they chew out the team, the manager goes and chews out the team in the in, in the clubhouse. I don't think they do that in the big leagues as much, but this would be a day for it. If I'm Bob Melvin, I'm going in there. It's like normally I don't uh, give speeches, you guys, because you guys are a bunch, you guys are adults and professionals, and you don't need to be chewed out. But you guys suck. What is going on? Oh, for ten. Do I need to bat myself? You guys are just terrible this year, and we need to step it up, or we're gonna lose a hundred games. Or something of that nature. Here. Uh, we have Kayla Fax, win player of the game. I like that win. You know, with win, it's supposed to come wins. But the thing about it is, uh, if you can't hit, you can't win. Win can go out there and pitch well. Uh, <laughs> Tommy Ugly. Yeah. It's time for a speech. It's time for a speech. It's like, look, I don't, I don't, I, I can't, I don't expect you guys to get a hit every time. We got the worst, we are the worst team with runners in scoring position in the entire National League. This is not, what, what, what do we got to do? What do we got to do? Anybody in this room? I'm going to say anybody has got an idea? Patrick? You got something to say? No? Anyone? Let's freaking go. I want to see some offense tomorrow against Pepio. I want you guys swinging and hitting, putting the ball in play. Let's freaking go. Same problem last year. It really was. And I'm also curious about some other stats while we're looking at this. How are we doing on home runs? Because I feel like it's not too good. Ladies and gents, is this is this accurate? Well, we got more than two. Is this accurate? Do we only have two home runs? We have more than two. That's not right. Soler has two himself, right? And, and didn't Chapman and hit one or two? Chapman has one. Is that true? Or am I going back to spring training? Now I got to look. I thought Chapman had hit one. I thought Chapman hit a home run earlier this year. I'm almost certain he did. Yeah, Chapman's got two. Solaire's got a couple, so that's not accurate. Maybe I'm, maybe, I, oh, I put with runners in scoring position. Uh, I got to turn off that filter. That's why. Uh, I got to turn off this filter. I was like, dude, that tripped me out. Okay, home runs overall. Uh, Giants are almost dead last. We have 10 home runs. I was like, dude, tell me we don't only have, tell me we don't have just two home runs. Giants have 10 home runs. Only the Twins and White Sox have less. Yeah, I was like, what? Yeah, thank you, viewer AJ. I got the, the, I was tripping. I was about to really lose it. I was like, because Soler has two. Chapman has a couple. But still, Lee had Lee hit his first big league home run. But, okay, so we got that fixed because I'm a dumbass. But Giants are still 26th. Tied. For 26 with the Tigers and Marlins, we have no power this year. Where's the solar power that I heard all about all offseason? The solar power. We need to turn it on. Do you realize the Dodgers have double the home runs the Giants have? Dodgers have double the home runs. RBI? Giants? 20th. 
20th. Tell me we're not like leading in strikeouts. Okay, Giants are right in the middle of the pack with 108 strikeouts. Like, I mean, like, stolen bases, I think we're dead last, despite running today. Giants are, okay, no, okay, we finally stole a few bases. We're 18th with six steals. Whew. All right, just checking out some stats out of curiosity. Um, but bottom line, man, the offense, especially with runners in scoring position, has been bad. 23rd with OPS. I mean, just not great. The numbers don't look great. The games haven't looked great, and the numbers back that up. A six foot four wimp in the chat. We got someone who's six foot four in the chat. Super chat on the board. Damn, Tommy Hugsley with a two dollar super chat. Well, we'll take the super chat. Uh, despite uh, runners in scoring position is a foreign language. This team is peepee. So uh, yeah, this team definitely not great. That's what I'm saying. Cali Oki, win, win, and win. But where's our win? Come on. Yeah, that yeah, Conforto has three. Like, yeah. I mean, like, yeah, I mean, I'm 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 past my past my prime at this point. And I don't think I can help this team, but I, I don't know if I can hurt the team either the way they're hitting. I mean, that's the problem right now. You know, the problem right now is nobody's coming through. These guys are supposed to, they gotta come through, gotta find a way. You know, we're not asking for you, them to win every single night. We're not asking them to go, you know, hit 500 with runners in scoring position. But you got to come through eventually, and it, it, the losses are big. It could come down to this loss. Remember 2020? The Giants missed the playoff by one game. That last game of the year against the Brewers, was it the Brewers or Padres? But the Giants lost that last game of the season. And, yes, we had Rob Drake umpiring, and he was horrible. And he called everyone out on strikes. He called Slater on that last pitch that was not even – even remotely close to the strike zone. Um, and I'm I'll never forgiven him for that game. And I'll never forget that last game in 2020. Um, but if the Giants had won one more game at some point that year, they would have been in the playoffs. And then who knows? Once you're in, you're in. I'm not saying they would have won the World Series, but you got to get in to have a shot. And I would have loved to see them knock off the Dodgers or something that year, but the Giants couldn't get into the playoffs. Um, one game can matter. You can't lose a game like this. You're six foot five, Malone Labe. Super excited about uh, the draft coming up, though. Giants have the 13th pick. Signing Matt Chapman and I think Blake Snell cost the Giants second round and third round picks. And that is no small deal. So the Giants lost two draft picks. So that's why it's so important that Blake Snell has a good season for the Giants. Um, oh, you're a road cyclist. 180 pounds. See, I'm trying to get back to 180 pounds. I was 180 pounds. I don't need to get to that. I don't need to get 180, but at least like 190. But I have been on I've been down one when I was running marathons. I was on a 170, like 172. People thought I was dying. Uh, Joe, it needs fixing like the only toilet in prison. Tom Hugsley, Tommy Hugsley, it's gotten to the point where they might not even win 75 games. Dude, I'm 210 pounds. That's not bad. You know, as long as you're not over three, you're doing just fine. Um, but uh Belt hasn't been signed yet. I don't know why Belt hasn't been signed. He must be. I know he's gotten offers, and he must be holding out for a, a good major league deal. Uh, there's no way. There's no way Belt, after last season, can't get like a, a at least a minimum contract or something. I, he must be wanting more money. That's the only thing that, that would make sense to me. Um, during the season, I'm like 170. Yeah, you know, uh, I haven't done a lot of cycling. I'm, 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 I'm uh, actually scared of uh, cycling because you got to ride. You're supposed to ride with the traffic, so you can't see them behind you. People on their phone these days. I'm afraid I'm just going to get mowed down at some point. So, um, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I don't do too much cycling, but I'll run because then I'll run on the other side. So I see the car coming. I get the heck out the way. Um, what were we talking about? Plus. Played basketball for the Lakers. Yep, Shaq. Shaq's the man. Shaq, Shaq seems like a good dude. Shaq seems like a good dude. Um, how is Joey Bart? 
been doing? Has he gotten some more ABs over there in uh, in Pittsburgh? Uh, and I wonder what's going on in Sacramento. No, Joey Bart three for eight. He's he's three for eight with a home run, four RBIs. He's their backup. You know, he doesn't play every day, but dang, he's done well in the short little a few at bats that he's had. That's for dang sure. That's for dang sure. Yeah, he's looking good. Fire the whole scouting department. Yeah, the draft has been terrible. This year, if you don't get a home run in the first round, we're screwed because that's the only pick the Giants have. I mean, they do have more, don't get me wrong, like fourth round. And there are some guys I'm really looking at for that fourth round pick. I'm sure they're not going to take who I want them to. But um, right now, the El Paso Chihuahuas are in town taking on the Sacramento Rivercats. Luciano is at the plate, and uh, it's 0-0 zero to zero there in Sacktown. The Rivercats are seven and five. Heck of a lot better than the Giants. They got a winning record. I'll take seven and five at this point over here. All day long, we'll take seven and five. But the Sacramento Rivercats are uh, are getting it done down there with Blake Sable. Feel bad for him for a whole season. Blake Sable was on the luxury chartered flights, luxury clubhouses, massages whenever he wanted to, snacks whenever he wanted, like full, like just absolutely pampered. And after a whole year, and now send you back to the minors, bro. Enjoy the bus rides. That's that sucks, but uh, yeah. So uh, I'm curious about Casey Schmidt, Marciano. Uh, Marciano. Uh, we do have a we, we did have a guy Joey Marciano last year, but I meant Marco Luciano. Um, and Luis Matos is a big one. I think most people are excited about Luis Matos. Ismael Munguia is absolute beast. Elliot Ramos was supposed to be the best thing since sliced bread. So we got a, a lot of dudes to check up on. Blake Sable is not doing it this year in the minor leagues. Five for 30 with no home runs. So Blake, pick it up, bro. Casey Schmidt is not doing it. Six for 45, 133. Three RBAs, no home runs. What happened to you, dude? You were the chosen one. It was said you would bring balance to the Giants, not destroy them. Marco Luciano. Now, Marco, 349 average, seven driven in, 892 OPS. That's what I'm talking about. Marco Luciano might be the answer. Holy smokes. Ramos is the best thing since strikeout Sammy. But people want to say it's not Farhan. J.D. Davis is doing well. Yeah, you, you get rid of someone, they, they do it. Yeah, Bob Melvin needs to chew this team out. Our only run came on a passed ball on a no-name pitcher. Sorry I didn't get to watch this game. Hot garbage. Hot basura. Basura. Um, who else do we need to check on? Uh, what about... Um, my internet seems to have frozen. I did want to announce, thanks to all of the super chats from you guys and over the years, we we we're almost we're almost ready to pull the trigger on a new computer. Um, and I'm going big, and it's going to improve the performance. We might be able we'll be able to do better graphics, better videos, better live streams, and that's going to be happening probably next month. So uh, I want to thank y'all for that support. Uh, it's been a long time coming for this new computer. Because this one is hot garbage. Luis Matos is only hitting 206. He does have a couple bombs. Uh, we'd love to see Matos up at some point. Ismael Munguia, maybe you hadn't heard of him. I'm telling you right now, this guy's a beast. He is uh, from Nicaragua, okay? Um, Ch Ch uh, Chinandega, Nicaragua. He's uh, not doing so great so far in AAA, but give him some time. He's got talent. And then Elliot Ramos He's hitting 318 with four bombs. He might be doing the best of the bunch when we talk about power and OPS over a thousand. Ramos will get another chance this year, and I'm here for it. Elliot Ramos. That's your minor league update down on the farm. Nicaragua went 0 for 4 in the World Baseball Classic. That's too bad. That's my uh that's my family's country. You know, I wasn't, I can't claim I wasn't born in Nicaragua, but um, that's where my family's from. 
Uh, have they tried appeasing Joe Boo with rum? Not to my knowledge. Gabe Crappler. Make sure you get the good CPU with the streaming and videos you do. Oh, yeah, we're going for the best of the best. You know, we got a budget right now north of $2,000 for a new computer. Okay? We're not going cheap. This one I got now, I bought for about 300 And this was something I bought years ago, back in like 2019. So if you get what you pay for, we should have a massive improvement. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's going to blow me away with the performance uh, processing videos. Now the internet obviously may not fly because the internet connection matters, but I think a faster PC, faster CPU will, will give it a little boost at least. So we'll see. Um, the one I'm looking at, do you think, I'm not an expert. So if you know something, let me know about the RAM. But the one I'm looking at, I think is 64 RAM. Um, the, the one I'm looking at getting made for me. Um, but yeah, I mean, some of you guys are probably very knowledgeable on this stuff. I've learned a little bit over the years um, about, you know, graphic cards and all that and, uh, and the specs and how to read the specs. But I'm pretty... I'm not an expert. Let's just put it that way. Um, the one I'm looking at is 32 gigabytes RAM. 32 gigabytes RAM, RTX 4060 Ti for the GPU. Uh, good CPU, Intel Core i5 dash. It's got the you know all that, but a lot of advanced stuff. Um, I know, and hopefully it flies, man. Hopefully it flies. Uh, make sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of RAM. What is the RAM? Is that like the memory? How many programs you got running at the same time? I, I, I forget. Hang on. Random access memory. Temporary storage. I think it helps you to run, which will, will really be nice to have more RAM. But anyway, yeah, right now I, I get I get I get pissed off almost every day working on this computer. Uh 64 is a ton. Yes, yes, yes. Call up Matos. Uh that's still really good. Nice. Israel sucks. Mercy ruled by Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, and Venezuelans. Uh Giants are playing like midgets. Should be night and day. Oh, I can't wait. And let you do more stuff without bottlenecking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it just drives me crazy, man. Sometimes when I'm working on something, I restart the computer multiple times a day. I start screaming. I start cussing. I'll be working on a video like, it's done. It just stopped. It just stopped. And I'll click. I'll lose videos. I have to start over. It'll just freeze up. Um, all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, I can't wait. And that's happening next month. It's been a long time coming. A long time coming. But you know, we're not talking about uh, $500, $600, $700. We're talking about two grand. And Yeah, you can go bigger than that. You know, if I wanted to keep saving, keep waiting. But I, I mean, let's just be honest. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I thought it said 50. I was about to say a 30. The computer fund, the biggest super chat in the history of the Hum Baby Baseball channel, Bo Falcon, 500. My man, I don't even know what to say. Absolutely crazy. Unbelievable. I will have a box, an unboxing, a setup. We're going to shoot something. Uh, Bo Falcon, I'm going to put out for you guys. Um, 
We're going to put out a video, a launch video, because it is now officially happening. That's 25. That's incredible, incredible and saving and getting ready for this day. And it's just that just put it right over the top. You just put it over the top. I was thinking next month it's happening. It's now, now it's a guarantee. Thank you so much for that. I, 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 and now it's a guarantee. We're going to have an opening and it is going to be Bo Falcon. I need to get a plaque on the computer that says Bo Falcon helped fund this baby. Yes. When pitched his ass off. I, I, I can't get a nicer one. You're right. We can bump it up. We can, yes. Send them an ad for your new computer, Eric. Uh, Bo making dreams happen over there. Oh my goodness. We got the tech. Funny thing. I just paid taxes and that was, it was a little bit, it was more than that, but that, that, that pretty much took care of the taxes for me. Uh, honestly. Uh, wow. Bo in the hall of fame. So much for the five. No, no, Michael. Every penny counts. Every penny counts. Trust me. It really does. There are months this channel doesn't make, uh, but you know, five hundred all told. In the back in the, you know, there were years for uh, we've been doing better in the last couple of years, but there were years where after uh, we, you know, this channel was a couple hundred dollars a month. You know, I was I wasn't surviving on this. Now we're getting close to being able to do so, thanks to y'all, thanks to y'all. And after we get this computer, that that's going to help things go so much faster. And editing is going to be crazy. Um, Bo Falcon will never be forgotten for that generosity. That will never be forgotten. Every time I, I get on that computer and I'm flying through and I'm editing videos and it's working fast, I'm going to remember that generosity. Not just but all, all of it. Five. 10, 99 cents, 199. It all does seriously matter. Thank you so much. Uh, because if it didn't, you know, McDonald's would be out of business. They they're in business because of 199 here, 299, 399. That's how that's business, you know. Um, every little bit really does count. I mean, I put up a video. I'm gonna show you guys the last video I made. I don't know how much it made, but I would guess. I don't even remember what my last video was. Uh, what was my last video? I think it was a documentary. So it might have made a little bit. Documentaries tend to do better. I can tell you it didn't make $500. Um, let's check out the back end right here. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I did the Do Dodgers security intimidate the girl, the home run ball. So about the Otani home run ball. And uh, that was my last video. It, it it probably didn't make 10 bucks. It probably didn't make 10 bucks. I don't know. Let's find out. $3.20. There you go. That's what a video. I'm telling y'all. I got over a thousand views on that video and it made $3.20. I ain't rolling in the dough in the home baby video. Here they come. A mouse pad. A mouse pad it is. And I actually will need a mouse pad. No bullshit. Because the, the computer I have now, I'm not throwing it away. I'm going to put this in the music room. And this computer is going to be purely for music, for recording. And, 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 and it'll help me out because it's hard to record my music and use the computer because I got so much other stuff on there. And, it, you know, because all the, the YouTube stuff. So this is going to be strictly a music computer and should should do fine in that with that responsibility only especially because it's going to be deleting all the stuff on there. So I'll need a new mouse pad because this mouse pad will go with this computer probably. And I'll need a new mouse pad for the new computer. And now we got not just a mouse pad, but maybe a keyboard, something else. I don't know what they're going to send me with this. Chris with the five spot. We got fives coming all day. Wow. Check your email. Oh, I saw you had sent me an email. I did see that um, earlier today. I apologize that I ain't got back to you. Oh, you sent me another one. You sent me another one.
Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll write back to you. I'll write back to you. That sounds freaking legit, dude. I do appreciate that. Um, thank you uh, for that. The, the amazing support. Amazing support. But yeah, uh, the ones that check out a good video. The la- this one video got 10,000 views. Man, you made some big bucks on this video. 10,000 views. Like, this is a big hit for me. $85. 85 bucks. I, I'll i take it. I'll take it. But I ain't buying no yachts with 85 bucks. I was just telling you. So the Home Baby Baseball Channel, yeah, we love it. We I love the small, the small community and the support. But but trust me, like I'm just telling you, like, I'm not like a big channel rolling in dough, and I I, I and and five dollars is nothing. Five dollars matters. So thank you guys so much for your support. Stop feeding them. Oh my God! Y'all gotta stop it. Ninety nine, ninety nine for a good camera or keyboard for the new computer. Oh my goodness. I don't feel worthy, man. I don't feel, I feel, I, I, I can't believe it. No cake crumbs. 99.99. I'm going to shout out everyone again though, because it all matters. Jason Corona for the original 9.99. Randy, who I will never forget for that 50 and now 4.99 and another 4.99 earlier. I remember him. Tommy Hugsley, who has sent God knows how much over the years. Thank you. And then the 500, the 500 for the computer fund. A five spot from Chris, a five spot from Michael Roder, and a 99.99 from Hassan Corona for a good camera. And yeah, my camera right now is not exactly uh, the best. I would show it to you, but then it won't record itself. So. I don't think that's possible, but it's, 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 I, 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 it's a decent, decent webcam, but definitely not top of the line. Um, it's not the first one I had. I did upgrade that. I upgraded that at one point. We're going to upgrade that again. We're going big time. I believe it now. I believe it now. You have turned me into a believer. Holy moly. And, And it's been hard times from the videos. I've been saying, I was just telling someone, that I've been talking about it, like the Super Chats are holding this channel above water. If, 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 the, if the season hadn't started and the live streams hadn't started and the Super Chats weren't coming like they are, I don't know. I don't know what I'd be doing. I'd be, I'd be pumping out documentaries every day hoping for the best because uh, one, 99, the Salvation Army Rancho Cordova Corps. Going once, deal is off. Thank 1,000. What's up, Kayla? Anyone want a bit higher auction? Oh, no, 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 no. We, <laughs> I thank you so much. You're very, very popular with other baseball content creators. Oh, really? And we have our regular subscribers. I'm not subscribed, but our regular members as well. I was going to do a members video. I haven't got it to it yet, but there's a members video. I have one uh, topic in mind to do a members video. Um, Basically, any video or something I want to talk about that sounds fun that's probably not something that would it might do too well as a regular video, but I could throw it up as a member's video uh, for y'all. Thank you, Salvation Army Rancho Cordova Corps. The stuff deserves super chats. It's good. Calvin, thank you so much. Provide great videos and entertain for us. Some can give us back when we know not everyone can. This is not just for you, but for all who watch you do. Uh, Bo Falcon, now everybody, help, everybody helps. Just showing up helps. We got 28 in the chat. It's not even a big, this is not even a big, one of my bigger streams. Sometimes we have hundreds of people, but you guys are coming through big time and, and it matters. Uh, thank you so much. I don't, I don't even know this. This is a record that might stand. You know, I have a couple of records now that I don't know if I'll ever break. One is my biggest viewed video. Y'all. I don't know what happened. I, I I did a video on it for my my members, but I'm gonna not knuckleball, but I'm gonna tell you guys about this, this video. I made the you guys might already know many of you already know the story of the screwball video. I made this video with the intent 
of it doing really well. I thought this was a good idea, a good topic, a good thumbnail. I worked on this. I was like, this video is going to go off. This video is going to make it tons of views, like, 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 like a thousand views, like <laughs> maybe 10,000 views. And it turned out it kind of bombed at first. I was like, dang, the video didn't get no views. I was so mad. I, I called up Jim from Ball Cap Sports. I'm like, bro, what's wrong? Why did my video tank, bro? He's like, I don't know. It looks good to me, man. Anyway, I forgot about it. I moved on. Months passed, and all of a sudden, this freaking video starts getting some views. I'm like, oh man, it's getting some views. It got, I got, at, at, at first, it was like a uh, thousand, two thousand. 3,000. I'm like, sweet, finally. And then one day at 26,000, I'm like, sick. Then it went to 197, 500, 662,000, 800, 1 million views. And it just kept going and going. 2 million. And it, to, to this point, it's actually got a little jump the last few days. It is at 2,690,000 views. 2,690,000 views. I was, <laughs> I don't think I'll ever have a video to get two and a half million views. I don't know. That might be a record for me. That's, that was what I was going to say. And this 500 super chat might be an all time record. Thank you so much, Kayla. Doesn't matter, small or large, all of you. Thank you so much. Dodger fan called it Chris. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Kayla, Jason. Appreciate it. Salvation Army. Oops, too late. What were we talking about? Back down. Story time. Yeah, I mean, uh, so yeah, that video right there was the most shocking and most uh, amazing experience because this is this is what y'all, this is the crazy thing. There are big YouTube channels that don't have two and a half million views on any video. Like Draft Neck, I'll do respect Draft Neck. He's one of the greatest. He's one of the biggest baseball channels out there. Two hundred sixty-four thousand subscribers. This guy's one of the one of the big one one of the big original baseball. All right, so we're sitting here. With um, his biggest video. Not trying to brag, but maybe I am. But his biggest video, eight doesn't even have a million. I got a two and a half million. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how that happened. I mean, he's got the views like overall destroys me on a daily basis i have no chance but for whatever reason that one video the algorithm the youtube algorithm just fell in love with that video and it went super viral draft neck mark is amazing his videos are good he did some videos where he did opening day lineup for oh no i used to watch i used to watch draft neck before i started my channel he was one of the inspirations to be, to be honest i he wasn't my favorite but he, he was one of my one of the guys i was like why can't i do a baseball channel you know so uh, Giraffe Neck was one of the originals that I used to watch. I haven't watched him a lot lately, but yeah, he was one of the originals, no doubt about it. So it's it's not it's nothing to brag about really that I have a one video that's bigger than his biggest video because obviously he's got the consistency. But um, but yeah, that's just an amazing fact. It's just something that I just um, all right, so sharing with y'all. It's not something that I would brag about like all the time, but. Since we're since we're since we're talking, I just thought I'd throw that out there. But uh, yeah, draft next good. Um, obviously, they got some of the best ones. Uh, uh, Ball cap sports is my man. Uh, Robbie High, we 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 kind of three came up together. Robbie High, um, myself, and Ball cap sports started from nothing, and we kind of all just kind of grew together. They've kind of uh, have have. Had a little more success subscriber wise, but um, we've all pretty much grown at, at a similar rate. Um, 100K would be crazy if that ever. Jenny Vega, I don't know. I think I, I talked to her on Twitter not long ago, so I, I don't know. I don't know where she is. Maybe she found another stream or A's stream or something else, and she she's over there, which is understandable. Um, But yeah, absolutely amazing. Hum baby baseball. We've had some crazy growth over the years. And it's been a wild ride that continues on. And hopefully we'll continue on. Where's uh 
Ball cap sports. Oops. Ball cap sports. My man Jim, 44.8. Yeah, he is he is absolutely destroying it. Um absolutely killing it, man. But the, yeah, good focus on baseball. We talked about Jackson Holiday getting called up. Extend. Top 10 players who need to be extended. Oh, that's a cool, that's a cool video idea. I like that video idea. I would have done that if I thought of it. Jim Riley, shout out to him. Ball cap sports. Uh, uh, who sometimes shows up in the live streams from time to time. Uh, Jason, it's where a channel gets a certain amount of subscribers. Can you give me an update on Bryce Eldridge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could see I was going to show you all. It's weird because this is the history of, of uh, the red one is me. Not the history, but goes back to 2022. Only goes back a couple of years. The blue one is Robbie. The purple one is Jim. You see, we all pretty much grow. I was catching up to him right here at this point. The weird thing is they their, their two lines are the same, which means YouTube kind of pushes baseball content when it feels like it. Look at how it comes up, and then it flatlines. It has a cup up here, goes up here. And then right here, it flatlines. That's no coincidence because their videos are very similar and their content is similar. So YouTube decides, ah, we're not going to show people baseball stuff anymore. And they'll both, you know, where my stuff is a little different with the, with the with the documentaries and the post-game shows, I have a little different style. So my graph looks a little different than theirs. But we're all kind of growing together. So that's really cool. Um, Bryce Eldridge. Logan, Logan, uh, Logan, I believe is out. He is uh, boycotted the season. Eldridge may be a little while. He he came out of high school. Here he is, right here. He may be a little while before he's in the big leagues. He's in where's he in uh, San Jose right now. Uh, he played a little bit in San Jose last year in the playoffs and looked pretty good. Eighteen at bats uh, as a hitter this year. Five hits. He's got a bomb. Three RBIs. A walk. Only five strikeouts, 278 average, 927 OPS. Very, very nice for a short, small sample. You can't ask for more than that. And I guess he hasn't pitched. I don't see any pitching stats. So, yeah. So Bryce Eldridge um, with the San Jose Giants. We'll, we'll give him some time. He should be up uh, possibly next year. Possibly, uh, possibly make it to double A this year at best. Though I'd expect next year he'll start the year in triple A unless he just tears it up and just forces himself on this team. Otherwise, he'll start in triple A next year, and we could see him maybe some point in 2025. Guys are moving through the system faster than ever, especially when they're good. So um, it, it could be 26. He's only 19 years of age. He's 19 years of age. It could take even longer. It could take even longer. And Reggie Crawford's going to take a while, too. There's a kid who started a baseball channel I support because he is just starting. A SF Giants recap? Oh, yeah, I know SF Giants recap. I'm pretty sure I'm subscribed. Yeah, I'm subscribed. I'm subscribed. I, I, I'm subscribed. He just hit 1,000 uh, subscribers. No, dude, I'm, I'm on top of this stuff. I've, I've left him a comment before. I've definitely left him a comment before. SF Giants recap. Top, top of this, like white on rice, man. Uh, who is your favorite giant of all time? Well, I guess at this point, I got to go Barry Bonds. Um, when I was a kid, it was definitely uh, Willie, uh, no, Willie May. Uh, uh, it was definitely Kevin Mitchell. Um, after he left, I kind of leaned towards Will Clark and Matt Williams. Um, and then Bonds came and Bonds was here for, for so long and just became an, you know, just, how could he not be one of my top guys? I mean, despite all the controversies, Barry Bonds was one of the best, the best hitter that the Giants have ever had and maybe the best in Major League history, period. Someone on Instagram, Eric, put Lee hit from Twitter, and I think YouTube there, Instagram, call it Lucille News. Jackson Holiday. I don't know if he got his first hit. Yeah, this might be a, a kid. Uh, I, I, I usually don't see his voice. I mean, his face. Hello. There he is. 
Yes. SF at Giants recap. Today was the first day of spring training. So Not a kid, kid, but you know, young, young man. That's where we go over. Unfortunately, the Giants lost, but but the wins and losses don't matter. It's more about how each individual player is going, how the uh, different pieces of the team is getting put together, and different things like that. So. Yeah, yeah. Is that his last video, though? No, no, no. That's not his last video. Oh, here we go. For 34 minutes ago. He's on top of it, man. He's all over this. Gotta love that. Hello, and welcome back to SF at Giants Recap. And unfortunately, the Giants, they dropped the first game of the three-game series against the Rays, uh, 2-1. to one. And so that's pretty unfortunate because the bats, they just could not get going. So we're going to go over all that in today's recap. Yeah, so go check it out. He does a full recap video. So, um... Awesome stuff, dude. SF Giants recap. Yeah, I've watched some of his stuff before, and I'm subscribed. So go check him out. Uh, 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 yeah, pretty, pretty simple. Throw a link in the comment section. Uh, what do we have here, Michael Roder? Okay, he's 16. Yeah, 16. Yeah, he sounds a little more calm than 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 me, but very very professional. Very good. Uh, but give it a few more, give him a few more years of watching Giants baseball and, and, and he'll, he'll, he'll lose it. He's going to freaking freak out like me. Um, but we try to keep our, um, you know, we got to keep our composure over here. And if we can keep our composure, we'll be just fine. And you know what? Something that helps me keep my composure is the support from y'all. And this was the biggest stream in the history of home baby baseball would have never guessed. And next month, we'll have an unboxing video, and I cannot wait for it. The computer is on the way. Oh, he gets pissed too? Oh, I haven't seen him get mad yet. I, I haven't seen him get mad yet. But uh, that's good to hear. Not, not not good to get pissed, but good to have some emotions. You know, good to, to uh, you got to care, man. Anything you care about, you get, get pissed off sometimes. You know, and, and I, I don't have high standards, like super high standards. But when you're on a pace to lose over 100 games, and go 0 for 10 with runners in scoring position. You have the worst runners in scoring position production in the National League. After assigning all these good hitters and good players, that is when I uh, that's when I lose it. That's when I lose it. That's when I freaking lose it. Any any Tampa Bay Rays fans here, by the way? Any Tampa Bay Rays fans in the chat? It's been so you guys have been so generous. You know, I uh Got a, I got a raise. I just happen to have a raise hat here, brand new raise hat. Pretty nice. Booyah. Just happen to have this hat right here. So maybe uh, do a little giveaway at some point during this series. Um, but uh, I like the raise. I like the raise. They're probably one of my favorite. That's why you know, I, I picked that up. They're, they're one of my favorite American League teams. But um, the Tampa Bay Rays alternate hat right there. Um, 59.50, seven and a half. Uh, hitting shouldn't be this bad. Uh, sound like an ad, but it wasn't. It was a thank you. Ripken signed off on Holiday wearing that number seven. Holiday, Jackson Holiday from the Holiday family. They got two more guys. Um, I think one of them still, I think they're both still in high school. Ethan Holiday is one. And there's another brother who I forgot his name because he's like a freshman in high school. These kids are freaking born to be hitters. Obviously, Matt Holiday is in the family. Um, so... Look out for anyone named Holiday. And 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 there's another Holiday, but I think he's not related, who's uh, a pitcher at, at Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State just they like people named Holiday apparently. But um, look out for these dudes. Anyone by that name, walk them. I don't care if it's Ethan. I don't care if it's Matt. I don't care if it's um, uh, Jackson. Walk them because these people are beasts. Absolute beasts. It's this man, this is Jackson Holiday. So this is one of the great. This is my man, Matt Antonelli. Shout out to Matt Antonelli. This is on the left. Let's make it big. On the left in the white shirt is Jackson Holiday as, as a kid. And, and when I say a kid, I mean a freaking baby. This is a three-year-old child. On the right is Jackson Holiday now. I'm going to play this. 
and then I want to break this down. So watch these swings right here. Same I swing. Mean, it's, it's the same swing. The same. I mean, this is crazy. Look at this little three-year-old. He's hitting that ball harder than I can hit now. And I can hit a ball. Look at that right torque here. right there. Look at that swing. Look at that balance. Yeah. Bam. Look how he lets go of the bat right I mean, here. It's... Same way. Look at his head. Look at his posture. Holy crap. He plays the game so he understands. Jim Thurlkill. We need to turn the hitting around. What team is on? Jackson Holly is on. Uh, if, if, I don't know who you're talking about. He's on the Orioles. Um, let's go. Thank you again for those super chats. We went extra long today. We're on hour seven. I pushed through because of, and I know I didn't have to, and I know you guys wouldn't have minded if I had just ended it at 30 minutes, but Jason Corona and, uh, Bo Falcon, I feel like, I feel like I, I, I feel like I had to go a little bit extra today, a little bit extra today. He subs to um, baby Michael Roeder. So Larry did get screwed on that strike three, and I hate it. I hate it. Absolutely hate bad calls. Um, but the draft is coming up, ladies and gents. That's going to be really fun. I cannot wait, and uh, I'll be live for that. We're hope gonna, hoping to have a lot of people here. I'm preparing. I've been preparing all year and getting my knowledge down on the all the college uh, ranks and all the good players, Nick Kurtz, Jack Haglione, J Chase Burns, JJ Weatherholt just came off injury. Um, Braden Montgomery, of course, who was at Stanford, now he's Texas AM. Uh, but Travis Bazana, I think, should if he doesn't go number one, or, or at least close to it. I don't know what's going on. Giants will have their choice. Tommy White from LSU. Giants will have their choice at 13. There will be dudes. If they blow it at 13, I will be pissed. I will be pissed. Uh, thank you guys so much for the support. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe. I'm going to let you guys uh, do what you got to do. I want to thank everyone again, Bo Falcon, um, Chris, uh, uh, Michael, Jason, Corona, Salvation Army, Rancho Cordova, Cor, uh, and uh, as well as Randy Runolfson. Um, there is no no way to to thank you properly I, I i don't know how i would do it the the draft should be july uh in arlington uh in conjunction with the all-star game so the all-star game is around july 15 16 the draft will be right around that time mid july mid july is the draft and um there are this is the best draft i remember in my in my lifetime like i i i can't say how they'll turn out but but offensively offensive draft i should say for sure the 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 there are like 20 beasts so the first round is going to be a lot of fun and then even after that the giants don't pick it into the fourth round i'm guaranteed there's going to be some dudes still available who i really really like i'm pretty knowledgeable this year on who's out there and uh so there's going to be a fun show when that time comes. But uh, right now, I don't know who the Giants will take. I really don't. Uh, I haven't done a mock draft. I can throw one up and just see what they say just out of curiosity. One day ago, Bleacher Nation, if they let me look at their website without a paywall. Uh, they gave the Giants. Oh, man, Braden Montgomery. That would be sick. Uh, they gave the Giants Braden Montgomery who, uh, like I said, was with, I don't know why he transferred, but he was with Stanford and he decided to go to Texas a and I don't know why, but uh, that that would be awesome. I'll take Braden Montgomery uh, if that was the case right there. So that's just one random uh, mock draft. So, you know, there's a ton of them. Future Star Series mock draft 3.0. Who did they give the Giants? Okay, Cam 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 Caminetti is a high school kid out of Saguaro High School in Scottsdale, so he could be right at home for spring training. That's the good thing for for that. He'd be right at home for spring training. I'd rather not get a high school kid in the first round. 
because we don't have a second or third round pick. I'd rather not go for a high school kid, but Cam Caminiti is, is, and he, yes, he is related to Ken Caminiti. Uh, I think he's his son. So, um, so that would be, uh, be an interesting. Huh. That would be an interesting one. Uh, I, I wanted to get video of him while I was over in, in uh, Scottsdale. And I just didn't, I didn't get it. I didn't make it to a game. Uh, Rockies with the big win, long season pushing for 500. Eric, we need to do a group meet in San Francisco at a home game this summer. I agree. Respect. It'll happen. Uh, I was looking at some Dodger games in May. I already, I have tickets already. So that's probably going to happen, but you never know what's going to be going on at that time. But there are, so, there's a three game series. Dodgers are coming to town in May. Um, yeah, they moved the draft to the all-star break. So you guys have a great one. Thank you again. I don't know what to say. All of you guys who sent super chats and all y'all who are members and all y'all who have been here supporting the channel. All I can say is we're not worthy. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. We're stuck. We're stuck. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, everyone who's new, which is not too many of you. Thank you guys so much for being here. I do appreciate it. And uh, hopefully tomorrow we're here with a W. Uh, Modesto Nuts, oh, all day, all day, all day. I, I don't miss the Modesto Nuts for sure. Oh, am I going to go live for the draft? You better believe it. I'm going to go live for all every round. I'll be live on the Humbaby Prospects channel for rounds um, for the other rounds. Round one will be right here on Hum Baby Baseball. And after that, we'll be on the Prospects channel for all the later rounds, all the way through the final round. And uh, I got guys, a list of dudes um, all across the country who I'm excited about, who I think the Giants should consider. Um, there's always going to be a lot of names I never heard of. There's just too many players to keep track of. So there's no way I can know everybody. If you think about how many college and high school teams there are, so there could be some guys I've never heard of, but um, I, I'm pretty knowledgeable about um, that the, about the draft class this year. So I'm looking forward to it for sure. Uh, and, and and if I and if I had my pick here early on, I don't know who's going to go where. That's kind of the problem. Like I don't know who's going to be available at 13. If Ants Honeycutt's going to be available, some of these guys I know are not going to be available. Um, JJ Weatherholt won't be available. Jack Caglione will be gone. Travis Bazana would be a dream come true. He should go number one, in my opinion. Charlie Con uh, Charlie Condon. Out of, uh, uh, there's a lot of dudes out of Georgia. Um, realistically, if uh, I, I, I have to think about it. There's so many options. Um, I, 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 obviously, I, I like uh, a couple of guys. One guy's named uh, Malcolm Moore, a catcher out of Stanford. He's awesome. Carson Binge, um, who can pitch and hit, and he's a beast. That seems like right up the Giants' alley uh, out of Oklahoma State. So lots of dudes, lots of dudes. We'll see who it is, and I'll, I'll have videos uh, and lots of footage. It's going to be fun when that time comes. But until then, we're going to keep on hoping to do better. Oh, yeah, and forgot uh, Tommy White from uh, Louisiana State. Tommy White, LSU, very well might be available at 13. If he's still available at 13, this man is a freaking machine. 27 home runs in 2022, 24 home runs, 105 RBIs last year. And uh, this year he's off to a little slow start. He's When I say slow start, 324 average, 11 home runs. Still a beast. If he's still available, Tommy White, don't forget that name. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. What minor leagues or teams are in Oregon overall? I don't know. I have to get a list off, off the top of my head. I don't know if I can... Um, there's a, there's a, there's one in, uh, near Portland. It's not in Portland. There's Eugene is Hillsbury, Hillsboro hops. Are, are they affiliated though? I don't know if they're affiliated. Uh, yeah, they're affiliated with the Diamondbacks. Hillsboro hops. Yeah, that they're near Portland. They're in the Portland Metro. Portland didn't have a team for a while. So I think there's just two. I think there's just two, but uh, yeah, that's it. Hillsboro Hops and the Eugene Emeralds.
That's it. I A. That's it. They only got two teams in Oregon. Two minor league teams in Oregon. Let's freaking go! Slay the slump tomorrow. I want to see a victory, a W, and I want to thank you guys at, at, at Bo Falcon. And I can't wait for next month for the unboxing of the computer. And um, not just you know, not just Bo Falcon. All you guys are amazing, but Bo Falcon obviously just extremely generous, and Jason Corona extremely generous. Tommy Hugsley has been sending super chats for years. Um, Randy, Randy, I don't, I, I as, as I think relatively new, but I'm not sure. Maybe Randy's been here for a while, but I do know he's been very generous the last few streams. Thank you so much. And of course, Michael Roeder has been one of the biggest supporters and, and all the members and the Salvation Army Ranch Cordova's core. You think about 199, pretty much every single game for the last three years added up. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Good night. Have a great day. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe. Thank you to everybody. Let's get the victory tomorrow. But today, Big Fat L. See you guys next What can you do? I mean, there's nothing you can do. You can't do anything. There's nothing. We can't do We couldn't throw. We throw in interceptions. It's just, man, it's...